Hey folks, ever had your 40 gate Cisco or Juniper VMs in EVNG start and then instantly shut down? Super frustrating, right? In this video, I'll show you five quick checks that can get your virtual lab back on track, especially if you're using Windows 11 and VMware Workstation. Let's fix that fast. Check one, nested virtualization is a must. If you're running EVNG inside VMware Workstation, make sure you enable the virtualize Intel VTX dash EPT. In the VMware CPU settings, without this, the dash dev and dash KVM won't exist inside the EVNG, and all your human nodes will crash immediately. Think of this as like trying to run a VM inside VM without permission. To do this, make sure you click on Edit Virtualization Machine Settings, click Processor, and make sure these two checkboxes are checked. Check to disable Hyper-V and VBS on Windows 11. Go to turn Windows feature on or off. Make sure the virtual machine platform and Windows Hyper platform are unchecked. And if you see Hyper-V, uncheck that too. Go to Windows security, device security, core isolation. Make sure the memory integrity is off. Go to Windows PowerShell. Make sure you run it as an administrator and run the command that you see on the screen here. The goal is, is KVM available in EVNG? So log into your EVNG, run this command ls-l-dev-kvm. Expect the output as shown here. If it says no such file, then VTX is not being passed. That's a problem. Check for would be resource allocation. So some files like, for example, the 40 gate needs 2 gigs of RAM minimum and others like Juniper might fail if you give them too many. So make sure that you have the right amount of CPU and the RAM associated to a certain node before you start. Check five would be image files and naming. You want to make sure that the correct KVM images extracted properly, rename it to whatever the documentation says, and then last, fix the permissions. So five simple checks that fix most EVNG startup issues with QMU images. Save yourself hours of frustration. If you found this helpful, like the button, subscribe for more. Bye for now.